Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. With our art project this week, we read It's Not Easy Being a Bunny, written by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Bolin. If you have not read this book and would like to hear the story, I will include a link to the read along in the description of this video, as well as on the Seesaw Activity post. And since our story is about a character named PJ Funny Bunny, we are going to be drawing our own rabbit today. So what you're going to need for our drawing is a piece of paper. You're also going to need a pencil and an eraser to erase any mistakes you might make. And finally, you're going to need something to color with. And this can be anything. It can be markers, crayons, colored pencils. If you want to use paint, you can even use some paint. Um, but today I'm just going to be using um, crayons and markers. So I'm going to be leading you through how to draw a um, cute rabbit, kind of like PJ Funny Bunny. So you're going to want to have your paper uh, vertical, so it should be tall ways here. And we're going to start with our rabbit's face. So if you've seen a rabbit, they have these really cute, like puffy cheeks. So we're going to start with our puffy cheeks, kind of down at the bottom of our page. And they're going to be two big round circles that are going to be right next to each other. So these are our cheeks. And then we're going to make our head. So we're gonna add our head that's going to connect these two circles kind of on top. So we're gonna draw almost like a semicircle, big semicircle over on top of our circles, kind of like that. And there's gonna be our head. Now, before we go any further, let's start to add a little bit of details in the face. And then also um, kind of down here, we can finish maybe the mouth and the um, neck. So I wanna do a little mouth that's going to happen between my two circles. So we're gonna connect at the bottom with a smaller kind of little um, half circle there in between our two um, cheeks. And that's gonna be our mouth. So before we add any more, we want to finish our body because right now it's kind of just a floating head. So let's add two lines down here for our neck. And something I really liked about um, PJ in the story is he had this fun bow tie that was uh, on his neck. It was um, polka dotted and I really loved it. So I thought we could add a bow tie to our bunny's neck here. Now let's uh, practice how we're going to draw our bow tie. So a bow, bow tie kind of has a big knot in the middle that's kind of like a circle. So let's draw kind of a circle in the middle of the neck. <sighs> And then on the outside, our um, kind of bow tie comes out and we're gonna do kind of like a long uh, bent line here. And we're gonna do a few bent lines. So we're gonna do kind of like an arch and then um, for the side of our bow tie, we're gonna do another arch. And then for the other side, we're gonna do another arch. And it's okay if it goes off the page. Mine kind of went off the page a little bit. I kind of like that, it's a really big bow tie. But we're gonna do that on the other side too. So we're gonna do kind of a big, it almost looks like butterfly wings. And then on the side, we'll come down this way and maybe we'll kind of end it like that. So we've got our bow tie. Now we have our necklines in the middle there. So I'm going to take my eraser and erase those necklines. So it looks like my bow tie is in front of my bunny and kind of around his neck there. So there we go. We've got our uh, dapper looking bunny here. Uh, looks pretty good so far. So let's keep going now with our details. We can kind of add maybe some pattern or something to the bow tie uh, when we start to color, but let's go ahead and finish our face first. So we did our little mouth here and we're gonna wanna do our nose and then uh, more of a mouth. This is mostly just the chin. So our nose is gonna sit between our two cheek circles. So we're gonna draw kind of like a, almost like a pointed, 
kind of triangle nose that sits on these, uh, between these cheeks there. And the mouth of our bunny is going to go uh, from our nose. We're gonna draw a line for the mouth. And as we come down to the cheeks, we're gonna go out and follow those cheek lines. And you can leave it maybe like this, or if you wanna make your bunny smiling, you can kind of put it up a little bit, have a little curl, more of a smile. But there we go. So now our, our mouth sticks out a little bit more. We have our chin and our mouth um, and our nose all done. So maybe our bunny looks a little bit happier. Uh, on our cheeks, we can add some little whiskers that come out. Because rabbits have cute whiskers. And now we're um, pretty much done with the bottom half of our picture. So we gotta fill up all of this space here. So we need to add some eyes for our bunny. So we're gonna put our um, bunny's eyes kind of on the far side of the face because rabbits have, uh, their eyes are pretty far. I know PJ has his eyes right next to each other, but I'm gonna draw mine out a little bit farther. So if you wanna make yours really close in the middle, like PJ, you can, but I'm gonna make mine out to the side. So I'm gonna draw, oval shapes. I'm going to draw two oval shapes kind of on the outside of the head. And um, rabbits have actually really beady eyes, so they're pretty much all black. But I want to give a little bit of life to my rabbit, so I'm going to add a circle on each of my eyes, kind of like this. And it looks kind of scary right now. Um, but those aren't actually the pupils. We're gonna actually just color in the large oval and leave that little tiny circle that we just drew white. And see how much better that looks now? Looks much less creepy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fill in the other eye as well. We're gonna just fill this in. Um, you can do it with pencil or when you color, you can fill it in with a different color if you'd like. I'll probably go over my black um, or my uh, pencil with a black or something like that. But there we have our eyes. We've got our nice highlight in the eye that gives our rabbit some life. Um, and we are almost finished now. The last part we need is kind of what makes a rabbit look like a rabbit. And those are its large ears. So rabbits have these awesome, huge ears that um, allow them to hear everything and um, much more than we can. So we need to draw our big ears. So I'm gonna draw my rabbit's ears. I'll start with one and I want them to be a little bit floppy. So I'm gonna go straight up and then do kind of like a bend like this. And I'm gonna curl around with that bend and then come back down to my rabbit's head. So it kind of looks like almost like a candy cane or um, something like that. So we're gonna do that on the other side as well. And there we go. Um, I might actually, one of my uh, ears is a little bit bigger than the other, so I think I might try and change that a little bit. There we go, much better. All right, so we finished our ears, um, but we want to do the inside of our ears. So I'm gonna draw a second line that comes kind of over, and that's gonna be the inside of the ear. And we'll do that on the other side too. So it's kind of on the outside edge like that, and that gives it a little bit more. Now we can see that there's an inside of the ear and an outside of the ear. Um, uh, yeah, and pretty much now we're good. Um, I finished my rabbit picture, um, so hopefully you did too as you followed along. If there's anything you want to change about your rabbit, 
feel free. You can always add more or um, change the shape of things if you'd like. Um, but my rabbit looks pretty cute. I'm really happy with them. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my rabbit and then start coloring. If you want to skip the outline part and want to go straight to color, feel free. Um, but we'll come back and start uh, adding our color. Okay, everyone, I went ahead and outlined my rabbit, um, but now we get to add color, which is the really fun part. So you get to choose what color you want to make your rabbit. You could make it blue, you could make it pink, you could make it red, orange, green, purple, um, any color you want. Now I'm gonna challenge you to try and pick one color or maybe two colors to paint your rabbit um, but uh, that is up to you so i decided that i'm going to make my rabbit pink and red um, so i'm going to try and make my rabbit kind of look pink and red and then maybe add a little bit more um, to it so i really wanted to make my rabbit kind of look like a peep um, if you've ever seen those uh uh, desserts peeps. Um, so I wanted to make mine pink and we'll see how it goes. But I can't wait to see what colors you make your rabbits. Um, it's going to be fun. bunny i love him i love the bow tie um i love all the colors um making my rabbit super bright um so thank you everyone for following along with this activity i can't wait to see your funny bunnies and how cute they look and their fun colors um i hope you really enjoyed this activity as much as i did and i uh will see you next time thanks everyone bye